Why hello there everyone, today we're going to be talking about relaxed fitting pants or trousers depending on where you're from. Whenever you come across advice on styling wider fit pants, you'll always hear, oh, proportions should match, wear chunky sneakers. So I'll be talking about what wide pants styles there are because there are a lot, the footwear you should wear with these pants and how I would style these pants myself. So currently we're in this good time of fashion where slim fitting clothes and relaxed fitting clothes get to hang out with each other. That's a great thing. But really with slim fitting pants, there's only one style, you know, just slim all the way down. And that's totally fine because if this is where you're most comfortable with and not this, we'll get there, don't worry. I think the best way to start dipping your toes into wider fitting pants is with slim pants that flare out or the opposite of baggy pants that taper down. I mean, just think of this like buying a pocket camera. It's an upgrade to shooting with just your phone, but you're not fully diving into these technical cameras with interchangeable lenses and all that it's an easy learning curve and still familiar and i really enjoy this area because not a lot of people stay in this area they just go straight to baggy pants which is totally cool but i do think they miss out on some good options and so now we have the standard baggier fit i'd say this is considered you know straight cuts and relaxed cuts you know anywhere in that ballpark but a lot of these pants do look a little similar so i want you to keep an eye out for more colorful ones unique pocket designs patchwork and especially some pleated work that's that crease line on trousers by the way, a subtle detail that does so much for the pants. So basically just anything that just makes the pants stand out other than being wider fitting. And you can kind of consider this like buying your first DSLR camera. Already a major difference than shooting with your phone, right? And then you can try the more sophisticated full frame cameras, shooting in log, interchangeable lenses and all that. Very, very technical. And these would be like the wide pants, wide. I have to say that long, wide pants. So with these pants, this is where it gets a little bit more technical. The way you style these pants is like knowing those type of technicalities. Okay, so back to the advice that you hear all the time. Wide pants, chunky sneakers, it's all about proportions. Yes, but actually no. Really? Wear whatever you like. This advice is kind of like telling someone if you're jacked, you should only wear slim fitting clothes that show off your muscles. And I get that because yes, success rate is much higher if you you know, have some gains and you wear fitted clothes. I just feel like this kind of advice boxes you in in terms of options because look, wide fitting pants, they look great with slim sneakers or they look great with chunky sneakers. It really doesn't matter. And to be fair, I've given out this advice before. I'm really, I'm making fun of myself. Like I don't only have to wear Air Force Ones with relaxed fitting pants. I can wear slim white sneakers. I can wear Converse's, which is definitely a slim sneaker. I can wear chunky boots. It looks dope too. So whenever you hear this advice from someone like myself, always take that with a grain of salt. It's a great place to start. And that's what I should have said before. It's a great place to start, but don't limit yourself. So now onto the tips that I have for you guys if you guys have relaxed fitting pants or you're just starting to get into it. First off, I would try and get pants that give you options. And what I mean are pants that you can cuff, let lay flat on the sneaker, cropped pants, or pants that you can transform. Check me out. These are the Rain Delusion Transforming Pants basically the acronym p30 these pants have a wide drop crotch look that tapers down very nicely to a slim look or i can unzip the ankle cuffs to reveal a cropped pant these fried rice pants i can wear cuffed which looks really good with slim fitting sneakers like converses and blazers or i can cinch it for a different take or just let the pants lay on the sneaker three ways to wear the same exact pair of pants it allows me to wear these pants which are a huge statement piece very loud in multiple different ways that way i can get my money's worth because i have options but yeah pants that have this fitments like the military cargoes from alpha industries i'm telling you any pants like these they look great with converses because there's just that transition from the pants which is very straight to that sharp cut to the slim fitting sneaker and i i really dig the look some people don't but i think it's very clean and the next tip i have for you is that your top is free real estate just like your footwear wearing wider fitting pants doesn't constitute wearing wider oversized tops but absolutely yes you can do that you can always lean into something but a bit of contrast in sizing is always a good play in my book i love wearing a slim fit button up with wide pants a slim fit tee will do the job but it's just not enough to me sometimes like even a tank top is better than a standard tee but that's just my humble opinion pair these under layers with slim fit layers and that's always a vibe now if you do decide to lean into the oversized look just be just be careful with it all right as long as you look in the mirror you really dig the fit that's really all that matters 
And the last tip I got for y'all is go for a high neck boot. Because a higher boot with wider fitting pants allows you to go crazy with your proportions. It's basically a way to cinch your pants to follow the flow of your boots. In military terms, it's called blousing your boots. And I always enjoy this technique on others, but I don't think I look good in it myself. But I do have some fits for you guys. So let me show you guys what I've been wearing with wider fitting pants. I have a lot. And maybe you guys can find some inspiration or not. But first off, a word from our sponsor, Keeps. So Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. Because two out of three guys will actually experience some form of male pattern baldness by the age of 35. That is a crazy statistic. I have a lot of friends that have dealt with thinning hair and you do not have to be the next one in line. You see, Keeps offers the only two FDA approved generic medications that has been scientifically proven to stop hair loss or even regrow hair. And people have seen results. And the best part, Keeps will deliver directly to your door. No more having to make appointments and dealing with that in-person stuff. You can do this in the comfort of your own home. And not only that, these are doctor recommended treatments that are not only personalized to you, they are also affordable and typically half the price of pharmacies. So whether you want to prevent a thinning scalp, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of your hair, all you have to do is go to keeps.com slash johnnytai or click that link down in the description below to get 50% off your first order. Thank you Keeps for sponsoring this video. All right, so here are a ton of options on how to style these pants and I know different fits. This whole video took like two weeks to film, so I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you guys could. But this first outfit is the Instagram outfit. Dunks, J's, the ALD New Balance sneakers with baggy cargos, a trucker jacket, and a trucker hat. Just make sure you throw on a tote, cross your arms and legs, and take a picture of your kicks like this while you're at it. I'm just messing. Honestly, this fit is pretty easy to swallow. Especially to your average person, this is a very fashionable fit. It's just all over the net. That's all. There's nothing wrong with that. But let's switch it up for something a little less conventional. So these are the Nike SB FTM cargo pants. One of my favorite skaters, Seva, skates in these all the time. It's got that wide fit, brown color, made with ripstop fabric. Can't really beat that. And it's one of those pants I was telling you all about earlier. You can cinch it, cuff it, or let it lay on the sneaker. In this case, let's lay it on the Oliver Cabell white leather sneakers. Then a tank top as the underlayer, followed by the new Uniqlo U blazer. And a blazer with cargo pants? Let's see more of this. It's definitely a vibe. Then I threw on a gray coat on top of that because it is spring as I'm filming this. So it's cold in the morning, warmer in the afternoon, gets cold again. So whenever this is the case, I like to carry a tote bag with me. That way I can store my jacket if it gets too hot. And this tote bag also doubles up as storage for my camera gear that I used to shoot this video. Then finished off this fit with jewelry, a yellow beanie, and the clocks and colors shade. This is a blend of streetwear elements mixed with formal elements, and I just love that contrast. Now speaking of contrast, how about we only roll with black and white this time? Since some people find the contrast of black and white such an issue, I decided to create an entire fit based on that, which features these olive clothing trousers. So I blossed my boots with these trousers, really nice proportions, and these boots did come from Steve Madden. Honestly, the quality is really not that good. It's fine, but I think you can find something better for the price. A tank top that is tucked in with this a cold wall oversized button up. A favorite piece of mine from one of my favorite brands. And it features this nice inky graphic panel. I then threw on a Carhartt cap with this Uniqlo sling bag. And I strictly avoided color with this fit. Only black and white. But let's try this fit again with a different vibe. So we're going to keep everything the same. I'm just only going to switch the overshirts to this Acne Studios corduroy overshirt. It looks quite nice. And this fit works for any overshirts, I'm telling you. But how about some color? Check this fit out. I've talked about this fit in another video, so I'll just breeze right through this. ALD hat, a Uniqlo Mandarin collar button up, topped with this wool blend overshirt from H&M. And my most worn pants lately for the springtime, these fried rice cargo pants that I talked about earlier in the video, letting it lay on the Air Force Ones with that hint of orange. So my thought process for this video was all about analogous colors, or colors right next to each other on the color wheel. And we basically got all the citruses, lime, lemon, oranges, spring vibes for sure. Now this next fit is a direct contrast to the last fit in terms of color. So this is a grayscale fits I've talked about in another video. Absolutely no color, fully desaturated. So we got the same tops, but a gray beanie this time and black cargo pants also from fried rice, some converses and a Uniqlo sling bag. So one fits more fall-esque for those of you guys watching in the fall time, hello. And the other leans towards spring with more pastel colors and colors in general, which is the season I'm currently in. And so yeah, don't feel pressure to have a new fit every day of the week, 365 different fits every year. You can always have a variant of an outfits utilizing the same 
same pieces. But uh, how about a summer fits? Well, I still got you. Let's roll with these tech cargos with the ankles removed. Then I threw on some sandals from Sweet Coke, a tech wear staple for the summertime. And let's just throw on this white Airism shirt from Uniqlo. This is my favorite shirt of all time. It's very affordable. And I topped it off with this sling bag from Alpaca and a Y3 cap. Pretty simple and breathable, even though it is a darker fit. You got a lot of ventilation going on. Or we can roll with another variant, but instead of tech wear, we can go more minimal-esque. The same olive clothing trousers I talked about earlier, they start off really wide and tapers down slightly. Then in a cold wall brush stroke shirt, it has a similar fitment to the Uniqlo shirt, just a cooler design, white sneakers, and to match the shirt, let's roll with this bag from Fundamental. It has a similar pattern and it matches this trucker hat that I got years ago from the Sears Tower in Chicago. Same fit, different vibe. This is the last fit, I promise. My go-to fit is olive pants, white sneakers, a black top, and an orange beanie. And that's exactly what this fit is. Balloon pants from 5CM, white sneakers, a black hoodie, orange beanie from Amazon. And this time, let's top it off with a gray overcoat. And this is fall vibes for sure. As you can see, that is a ton of outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. And until then, stay fly. Deuces.